We are here at the Whitney Museum in New York City. Now over my shoulder, you can see the Whitney Studio Space, which was commissioned by the museum in 2012 to create some extra room for their educational programs. They turned to Manhattan architecture firm Low Tech to design a space with one of the hottest trends in sustainable architecture, the upcycling of shipping containers as a construction technology. Shipping containers provide the inspiration and the materials for some pretty spectacular buildings. So we've seen these structures used as temporary housing after disasters, but Low Tech uses them to create permanent, sustainable, modern homes and businesses too. Joining me now is Giuseppe Lignano from Low Tech. Um, tell us about the inspiration for this building. When the Whitney Museum called us to do an addition to the Marcel Breuer building, you can imagine how excited we were. So we were very inspired by what was going to go on in this building, which was basically education programs for kids, and therefore creating a very nice, bright, beautiful classroom and a place to create art. And also to devise something for the museum that was going to be very fast to be installed and respectful of the building, but also very striking. So let's talk about the containers themselves. Why are they so hot these days? There's a lot of containers on this planet. There's between 25 to 30 million containers on this planet. And because of the imbalance of commerce between East and the West, containers tend to accumulate on the Western seaboards. That creates a huge waste, and we thought that this would be a great opportunity uh, to use these, these objects. These are very strong structures made out of 100% coarsened steel, which is the strongest steel that you can build with. And the way that we use them, by combining them, you can create all sorts of buildings and all sorts of spaces of different dimensions. You're not constrained in the size of the container itself. So talk about actually the building process. Do you start with a foundation just like you would with a traditional home? Absolutely. For permanent buildings, for sure. We've done a lot of permanent buildings and a lot of temporary buildings. For temporary buildings, you don't need foundation. For permanent buildings, you do, and by code. So uh, just like a, all the other rules of codes and also uh, habits connected to comfort of the person that is going to inhabit this structure. So, uh, you know, a lot of people ask us, uh, are they going to be cold, are they going to be hot, because it's just a metal box, but the way that we build with containers from that point of view is that we build from the outside in. We want to leave the container exposed on the outside because we love the aesthetics of it. Uh, and so we layer behind the wall of the container for barriers, insulations, however you want to define it. Another money-saving aspect to this type of construction is that the buildings go up much faster than conventional ones. The speed and ease with which the materials can be ordered, prefabbed, and installed can streamline the entire construction process. So you can stack these containers just like a child would stack blocks, right? In a way, yes, and that was the attraction at the beginning, and that's how we started. You can stack them up to nine high without major reinforcements or other things. You can put them together in width and in length, as many as you want. How do you put them all together? They are spot welded together and also bolted together because this building comes apart. That's the great thing about working with containers is that uh, because the containers are so diffuse and there's so many of them, there's a whole number of tools that come with them, you know, special cranes and ways of moving them, even rollers. This building right here is on rollers, you can move it. How can you decorate these things? Are there any limitations? No limitations. From the point of view of finishes and decoration, there is absolutely no, uh, no limits. The science is more about the structure, the mechanical, uh, that kind of stuff. But once that's done, once the shell is created, the interiors basically can be absolutely anything you want them to be. 